All right, so we've got the Glock 45. Not a 45 ACP, it's a nine millimeter model 45. Most of you know that Glock's numbers coincide to either manufacturing dates, patent order, or release dates. So this is the Glock 45. And this gun is really something Glock should have made a long, long time ago. What differs in this gun from say a Glock 17 Gen 5. So they're both Generation 5 guns. Some of the changes for Generation 5 are a flared magwell, right? We've got that slightly flared magwell to ease in inserting magazines. We've got ambidextrous slide lock lever. So you can actuate that slide lock with either hand. Got that ambi slide lock. The Gen 5 firing group. Mm, feels nice. It is crisp, it is clean. Very similar to who noticed this. You guys have seen us use this in a lot of videos, my 19X. Uh, some differences though between this and a 19X, right out of the gate are no flare on the 19X. So we've got that flared magwell on the uh, 45. No forward slide serrations on the 19X. Glock decided to finally start putting some forward serrations on these. And something we've talked about, guys that bash on Glock, or they don't understand, why doesn't Glock do this? Why doesn't Glock do that? You guys gotta keep in mind that cost is a factor. If you go to say a Miraglow or Trigicon and you buy a good set of sights, what do they cost you? 75, 100 bucks. Well, that's gonna just add 75 or 100 bucks to the cost of the gun. If you go out and have serrations milled into the slide, that has a cost associated with it. So for years, Glock was trying to mitigate costs as well as keep it affordable when most people, most people didn't want things like this. Average Joe couldn't care less, right? We've got that Gen 5 firing group, very nice. Uh, I like it a lot. The main thing that I enjoy about these new generation fives is no finger grooves. So first, everybody wanted the finger grooves. Now, nobody wants the finger grooves. That works perfect for my hand. You've got a 19 size slide. So the slide length on this gun is 6.85 inches is the slide length. Overall length, so they're including barrel and the little nub here, overall length 7.44 inches. So just over, or just under rather, seven and a half inches. And that slide is about six and three quarter inches. The width, one and 1.34 inches. And that widest part here is gonna be in the frame, unless maybe they're going to the widest point of the, the slide locks. Very good narrow pistol easy to hide against the body, something that people have been using forever. So I don't need to go through the gamut of what makes a Glock a Glock. Plenty of that information's out there. But this gun itself, I, I've been shooting this. I probably got 15,000 rounds through the X. You guys have seen us shoot it in a lot of videos. That trigger's a little more broke in. It's a little smoother. Uh, a little more buttery, if you will. This one got a little more bite to it. So it's funny, guys will look at this and they say, oh, I don't care about this, the shorter, I want a 17 slide uh, with a 19 handle, you know, 19 grip frame, because that's easier to hide. I, want, I don't want the diminished sight radius because that longer sight radius makes it easier to hit. Guys, that little bit, if that's causing you accuracy issues, you need to go learn how to shoot, okay? Look at the difference. Look at the difference. That is not doing shit, pardon my French, to help you shoot better. If you think it is, you, you're not using your gun right. I've showed in videos this gun exhibiting great accuracy potential. So part of the thing that is giving us that great accuracy potential, oh, finally fell off, Drew, is this match grade barrel. So they've got a match grade crown. 
See that crown cut in there? Very much the same barrel as what we've got going on with the 19X. 19X. So in, in essence, very subtle changes between these two guns. The Magwell being one of them. Of course, the color and forward slide serrations. I'll swap these sights out to the Ameriglow operators that I've got on there. 4.02 inches for that barrel length. Now, this capacity, 17 round capacity with this gun. So if you are gonna carry it with stock, they're basically stock 17 mags. And these new Gen 5 mags have, these Gen 5 mags have this slight radius there on the front of the mag plate, but you can use your old mags will work just fine. One thing that I, I didn't have a problem with, uh, some people really didn't like this cutout on the Gen 5 17. I didn't feel an issue, but there were people pinching themselves. I don't know why they did it here, but not here. Well, I know, I know that why they didn't do it here, because people were complaining. And the purpose, this is the 19, or I'm sorry, this is the 45, and here is the 17 Gen 5. That cutout was there so that you could strip the mag. So you could strip the mag. Well, the way I have done those to guns before, is right here. So this is how Ben from Boresight Solutions does it on the side. So you're grabbing here. See that, the difference? So if you got a strip, you're pinching here. So a lot of folks did not like the cutout there in the 17 version of this. They don't have it here. Excellent little pistol, super pointable. You're not gonna be undergunned. 17 rounds of 9 mil on board, unless you've got a stick, and then it's party time, right? Let's see how this baby shoots. All right, so we've got this Glock 45 out here. We haven't done a thing to it. She's bone stock. It's gonna run a few rounds at 10 yards on a piece of steel. We've got a uh, five, six inch head swinger on there, and then the C-Zone uh, body. We'll start out with the Gen 5 mag, see what that thing looks like. Feels a lot like my 19X. Oh, I know why, because they're basically the same gun. <laughs> Man, it's crazy you can actually shoot with stack lock sights. Crazy. Help if I hit. There we go. Yeah, this, uh, this Glock 45 feels really good. I'm really digging, once I started shooting no finger grooves again a few years ago, it's a no brainer uh, to not have them. It's crazy, these Glock stock sights allow me just to get hits like crazy. I guess if you don't replace them, you'll die. Yeah, let's do a little tack load here. Do a little magazine action dump. Nice. Let's do that again. Trans there we go. From the Neo Mag. Now the head got hung up. I literally think that this 45, which is a 19 size slide with a 17 size grip, it's got the Gen 5 trigger group, forward serrations, ambi slide lock, no finger grooves, flared magwell, unlike the 19X, which I appreciate. They didn't do this cutout.
That's interesting. Some of these magazines don't like to drop free. But I think it's just because the gun's brand new. Hung up. 19X mag. Didn't make it. I dig this blaster. It's a Glock. It's going to run. I like the changes that they made to it. It's probably going to become my go-to gun once I swap the sights. I've got a lot of miles on the 19X and I've enjoyed the heck out of it. So um, if you're not into the peanut butter and you want the black, here you go. Glock 45. And as you see, stock sights do actually work. If you don't believe the internet, be well. Follow us, tune in, share these videos. Tell your family that you love them. More importantly, tell us you love us. Send us flowers. What the hell? It's like you don't even think about us. My mom was right about you.